Can you see this dot of light here? That's our sun from Proxima Centauri from a distance of more than 25.5 trillion miles away. So the question is, are we the only intelligent civilization in the whole universe? Is Earth the only planet in the universe where life exists? This snooping search for answers have attracted scientists from worldwide to carry out their research on finding a habitable world and extraterrestrial life outside of our solar system. Maybe some alien civilization has developed technology like ours or better than ours and now scientists are looking for those signals in the depth of our cosmos. In 1915, the Scottish astronomer Robert Ains discovered a star in proper motion with Alpha Centauri the closest binary star system to our sun located in the southern constellation of Centaurus and named it as Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a small, low-mass, a red dwarf star located at 4.24 light years away from our sun and that makes it the closest star system. Its mass is only 12% of our suns and the radius is around 15% of our suns. Well, Proxima Centauri has two confirmed exoplanets, Proxima Centauri b and Proxima Centauri c. One of its two planets, Proxima Centauri b, is quite famous and is also the closest known exoplanet to us. And on the top of it all, it is one of the potential candidates for the existence of life outside of our solar system. Wondering how? Let me tell you. Proxima Centauri b is roughly Earth's size and has an orbital period of 11.2 Earth days with an orbital radius of 0.05 astronomical units or 5% of the Earth's orbital radius. Around our Sun, this would be a baking hot world. But since Proxima Centauri is much smaller and cooler than our Sun, this planet sits in a habitable zone of the star, where liquid water may exist. Simulation models from NASA shows that it has rocky Earth-like structure and an atmosphere similar to ours. But the problem is, it can easily be stripped away by the intense radiation and solar flares unleashed by its parent star. Wait, why are we talking about Proxima Centauri in the first place? The reason is, on 18th of December 2020, internet was on the buzz with news leaked by Britain's daily newspaper The Guardian, which reported that astronomers with the Breakthrough Listen project have detected radio emissions from the direction of Proxima Centauri. Speaking of Breakthrough Listen project, it is the comprehensive radio set research begun in July 2015 being run by the University of California at Berkeley. This project works on two major telescopes, the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia and the Parkers Observatory in Australia, observing for thousands of hours every year. Beyond the Milky Way, it listens for the messages from the 100 closest galaxies to ours. They are sensitive enough to hear a common aircraft radar transmitting to us from any of the thousand nearest star. So, can this be a new wall signal? So you're telling me there's a chance? Mmm, have no idea of what I'm talking about. Let's go back in August 1977, a team of astronomers studying radio transmissions from an observatory at Ohio State called the Big Ear recorded an unusual 72 second narrowband signal. From the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. It was so strong that team member Jerry Ahman circled the data and wrote WOW next to the readout, hence giving the signal its name. Although the WOW signal has no detectable modulation, it remains the strongest candidate for an alien radio transmission ever detected. But was it a techno signature from aliens? Not that the transmitting frequency was 1420 MHz which happens to be the same frequency as hydrogen. Well, astronomers are not 100% sure about its origin, but in 2017, some researchers from Center of Planetary Science tried to explain it with the concept of hydrogen cloud accompanying comets, which were not known to exist at the time this wow signal was detected. It seems like it is likely originated from these comets known as P2008 Vito Gibbs and 266P Christensen which were in the same part of the sky in which Big Ear was monitoring on the day this famous signal was detected. 
The research team in 2017 reported that the signal from Comet 266P Christensen exactly matches with the WOW signal and the comet's movement also explained why the signal was not seen again. So, WOW signal likely originated from a comet but astronomers are not sure. Coming to the signal received by Parker's radio telescope during its 30-hour observation between April and May 2019 was labeled at BLC1 with a frequency of a complete integer 982.002 MHz which happens to be the same frequency band in which some satellites and spacecraft operate and it also matches with 3 time deuterium frequency and hey, it has a Wikipedia page too. This signal was not noticed until October 2020 when one of the project interns Shane Smith noticed it in the data. Since then, one of the project scientists, graduate student Sophia Sheikh has been leading the analysis. The interesting fact about this signal is that it is coming from the direction of our closest neighbor and it passed all the filters that separate it from the millions of radio frequency interferences, mostly caused by humans made things and this makes it is the best candidate of breakthrough listen project. I just wish Stephen Hawking was alive to give his comment on this. Let me emphasize on a point that there is no official report or research paper on this signal because scientists involved are still analyzing it. But the world's media is plastering the headlines with this news while the actual reason may be something else. Sethi wrote on their website that the signals apparently vary slightly in frequency warping up and down the radio dial and shows the positive drift or blue shifting. So it's not coming from an antenna bolted to the ground here on earth. That immediately makes it non-terrestrial by definition, but still doesn't certify it as alien. So what can it be? Let's discuss some possible explanation to this. First of all, BLC1 appears to be an unmodulated signal. It's a boring, unchanging tone. If aliens were trying to contact us, surely they would make the message a more bit interesting like uh, transmitting a sequence of attention grabbing prime numbers as portrayed in Carl Sagan's contract. The unmodulated nature of the signal also makes it a poor candidate for incidental radio leakage. So it can be from our thousands of satellites though we haven't found a possible candidate from our database yet. But it can be from a spy satellite again a human cause not an UFO. It can be from something yawning beyond Proxima Centauri. Behind the star system, maybe there's something like a pulsar or quasar. Chances are there, but this signal doesn't match with this much, but it can be. And if not from behind, it can be from Proxima Centauri's gargantuan plasma flares and the interactions. So, this is something new to researchers and something much bizarre. It can be from a gas giant like Jupiter in that star system, which we haven't discovered yet, but it needs to be big and should have a considerable strong magnetic field to send signals from there to Earth. Well, scientists are analyzing similar signals coming from Jupiter from decades so it can be. It can be a possible explanation but a bit unlikely. Maybe it is really local like somebody cooking his lunch in a microwave. Yes, it has happened before and it a microwave oven in the break room of the Parker's radio telescope caused considerable consternation five years ago when it produced a signal that at first suggested that something remarkable was happening in the distant cosmos. In fact, it was just someone heating up lunch as says the blog on Sethi's website. I hate that stuff. No, the oh, uh. Did you just notice that I told you that the signal has a positive drift? Which means the signal has a blow shift and it was getting strong. In simple terms, either it is moving toward us or we are moving towards it. I can read your mind. You are speculating its likelihood of being a UFO signal? Well, satellites do have positive drift or blow shifts as they are actually free falling towards Earth. So it can be a satellite. So what do you think it is? Do you still think it can be some alien wanting to break their Galactic Federation treaties? Yeah. Recently, a former head of Israel Space Security Program claimed that aliens are already contacting us secretly and Trump knew it. But this information is not public because humans are not ready yet as the Galactic Federation thoughts. Well, science spares no chance of startling us in any way. 
So, can it be aliens? Want to find out? One possible way could be sailing to Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is 4.22 light years away from Earth. That's much farther than you think. With the speed of the fastest human-made object Solar Parker Probe, it will take over 30,000 years to reach there. Mmm, yeah, even hibernating for such a long time will be boring. And even light traveling at the universal speed limit will take more than 4 years to reach, which makes BLC-1 4 years old when we detected it. Humans possibly can't achieve fast space traveling in our lifetime. But one of the major initiatives, the Breakthrough Starshot project, which was founded in 2016 by Yuri Milner, Stephen Hawking, and Mark Zuckerberg, and aims to create thousands of nanocrafts of less than one gram based on the principle of light sail will be propelled by laser. This, a gram scale wafer which hosts many instruments, is called Starship. This light sail will be accelerated by laser radiation pressure from Earth or most likely from Moon at about 20% of light speed in the direction of our closest neighbor Proxima Centauri. The planned laser array called the Light Beamer will fire beams as powerful as 100 gigawatts of specific wavelength of near infrared light. There are chances that some may fail to reflect such powerful radiation and avoid burning up instantly. Thus, Scientists are planning to launch thousands of nanocrafts so that at least a few could reach and explore the worlds beyond our solar system. Maybe such voyages defines what is likely to be alive and be a human. Astronomers are spending their holiday to search for the origin of these mysterious signals. We may soon hear a new announcement from them. So, don't forget to stay updated with us. I guess this is all for today. Hope you all got tons of new knowledge from the video. If so, hit the subscribe button. We will be back with another mind boggling video. Till then, stay curious and any doubt, please pen down your queries in the comment section below. Tack on your now on a break.